Freshie is over there trying to be her publicist. I know he getting call after call from people telling him you need to drop her. We all know she does Nicki Minaj's dirty work. Karen Civil is toxic for the culture. The Breakfast Club keeps letting her come up there because she is finessing all of you. She's finessing all of you. If you know that we don't trust a Karen when it comes to going to 7-Eleven to get some Skittles or some other fucking shit, why would we trust her? I'm sitting here watching her. She finessed Hillary Clinton and that's the reason why she lost the presidency. Now, I'm going to tell you, I forgot the kid's name over there in, in Florida who she paid $20,000 to hack my page. You know, it's all in my new book. My new book is about to be, it's about to set Hollywood on, Hollywood on fire. Because, you know, I own, you can't finesse to fire me, I own it all. I'm watching all you clowns get finessed by a woman named Karen. And then come to find out she's now setting people up. Did y'all read the court decision by Jesse Wu? Now I'm about to go look. I'm about to go look into this a little deeper. Y'all not paying attention. Karen don't not to fuck with nobody over here because she's already been put on notice. I don't care. She got people in the streets. I got people in the streets. But the people in the streets that she got don't want to be connected to nobody scamming. So everybody knows now. Now everybody knows. Jesse Wu done woke it up. Now Karen Civil is the social media pit bull for Nicki Minaj. Now you see what Nicki Minaj has been doing, losing her goddamn mind. From White House to Joyce, to Joyce, uh, she's sending the barbs attack my friend, Yvette Nicole Brown, all of which are people who love the black community. Y'all are sitting here watching it play out and yet you ain't doing so y'all keep talking about hashtag protect black women. Are y'all going to protect Jesse Wu against Karen Civil? Or y'all going to say no nah, because Nicki Minaj is your queen. Queen of what? Queen of is internet terrorism? I'm so tired of sitting and watching this same show. I'd be the same people. And then guess what? The brands run over to them because they know how to finesse you. I can create a super polished Instagram, go rent a Rolls Royce and come out here and act like I'm that motherfucker for you to give me your bag. But guess what? No, I'm going to give you what I am. Love it or not, I'm going to give you what I am. I ain't perfect, and I'm getting better. In fact, I'm getting to a place where I get out of all the tea so I can get to just being the voice of America and the world and the culture. But until then, until then, all of the blogs texting me and all of the bloggers and celebrities texting me saying, I can't believe, I can't believe what they're saying about Karen. Are you going to write about it? It's already on Hollywood Unlocked. Because we ain't afraid to say what the people need to know. We ain't afraid to say what the people are saying. We ain't afraid. And you know what? Ra Ali, the side nigga, keep texting me about that Instagram you took down. And I keep getting his Instagram back. And you keep getting it taken down on Instagram. And Adam. What are y'all doing over there on Instagram? Y'all let Nicki Minaj and her cohorts run y'all shit? Is anybody running Instagram anymore? I mean, hell, we talked to all the executives over there. But should I be talking to Adam? Adam! Is this thing on? You are letting these people use your platform to scam, sham, and blam everybody. And it's sickening. I love you, Instagram. You know I love y'all. You know I love you, Instagram. Instagram, I love you. And I don't even do these videos no more because I just be COVID. But how can I be COVID? But we can't be Karen and the cohorts. What does Nikki have to do with it? She is the puppet master. These are puppets. Jesse Wu, I know you mad at me for what I said about you a while now, and I ain't changed my opinion. We can get into some things. Uh, but you are welcome to come on my show. Let's talk about it. Let's shake the table. Shake it. Shake it. Because I'm sick and tired of seeing people win who are ruthless, scamming ass hoodlums. And you know what? I don't play by the street code. So if y'all start moving weird, I'm telling. I'm telling the FBI, CIA, CIA, DEA, IRS. I'm telling everything with three letters in it. LAPD got four. I'm telling them too. 
This is a shame. Y'all should be mad. Y'all keep putting the same tired ass culture icons in all these award shows. I just got my first award. You ain't gotta give me a fuck thing to sit next to some of these fake ass, scamming ass niggas. I said it, I said it, and I'm gonna keep on saying it. We will be following everything over there. Not over here, over there. Y'all need to keep paying attention. And Instagram. Adam, you got employees getting paid to verify people, hack pages, and do all types of shit at Instagram. I already told all of your executives that Karen Civil is over there using her relationships to back channel shit. I'm going to say allegedly, but I already provided the receipts. So why is it that y'all not doing nothing? And by the way, even though I'm barely putting this in my book, I don't know what the uh, term can, the, the time limits are on cyber crimes, but Karen Civil, you need to go to prison for what you did at Hollywood a lot. You paid some seven, some minor, you paid a kid to hack Hollywood Unlocked. You paid him and told him you was gonna help him be a rapper. You use your relationships with these rap executives, telling that young boy that you was gonna give them a career and you gave them $20,000 to hack my shit. You told him to take all my shit down. The difference between me and all these other niggas is that I got relationships and people love me and they don't ever wanna see me lose. So they keep on helping me. Now, all of my accounts are protected and they are managed as partnerships at Instagram and Facebook and everyone's and you can't take me away. You can't bully me. Everybody's afraid to call you out on shit. Go on the Breakfast Club and look at Charlamagne and Angelie and DJ Envy in their face every since you've used their platform so many times to build culture uh, culture clout and tell them what you've been doing out here in these streets. That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. And when is the government going to lock Nicki Minaj up? I mean, at some point it gets sick. I know y'all think I have a hard on for this girl, but she is just, is she off her medication? She is the ring leading puppeteer and she has y'all all looking like a hot ass fool. But enough of her. Back to Karen Civil. Karen, you know I used to love you. You know I used to be your friend and your neighbor. We used to have some good conversations. You told me how to finesse the brands and all that. I just never did it because I didn't have that type of energy. You know, you. I remember when you broke up with O'Malley or O'Malley, the guy that's over there with me, and you and you did that tuxedo picture with him. O'Malley, now you know I'm telling the truth because I'm about to spill the tea, and you tell me, O'Malley, if I'm telling the truth. O'Malley, I only saw you one time, but it was too many of y'all niggas, and I, dicked, I, I ducked, uh, ducked up out of there because I don't really know. If the Meek Mill, I don't even know if the Dream Chasers, I didn't know if y'all was going to chase me down the street, so I left. But I do fuck with the Dream Chasers. Okay, but O'Malley, tell me I'm telling the truth. Y'all broke up and she posted a photo of y'all in a tuxedo, uh, in a tuxedo thing. It was an advertisement and she made it look like y'all was still together, like y'all was getting married, but y'all had already broke up. She's a finesser. She taught me the game. I just never implemented it because I felt like hard work and staying dedicated to your craft would always supersede longevity in building a brand. But I have to tell you, when I looked at Jesse Wu and I looked at what she posted, and I'm getting all these texts from all these black bloggers saying, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Yes! Yes! I told you all, all of you, but you don't want to listen. Why? Because y'all all either in bed with these sick people or you just think I'm that messy guy that you, you, you bought into that narrative. I deliver the tea. I deliver the news. Facts. I deliver the news and the facts. I'm not trying to be popular. I already got my popularity. You either love me or you don't. But one thing you will love about Jason Lee, baby, is he gonna always tell you the truth. My hand to God, I'm gonna always tell you the truth. The truth is I understand it. The truth is I see it. But I've been telling y'all about Karen Sewell. Go look on my Instagram. Go down and look at it. 
but you don't want to because then you have to accept the fact that I knew more than you, that I wasn't afraid like you, that I was going to tell it like you, that I was going to drag it like you. Now I was going I was going to do it. God, thank you for letting me be COVID. Cause the culture needs me. What would they do if I would have died? What would they would what would they do if my lungs were compromised and I couldn't tell my truth and save somebody else from getting fucked over? I lost three hundred thousand dollars because of Karen Civil. She owes me my motherfucking money. She owes me fucking money. She ain't gonna pay me though. And if she does, she's gonna rob Peter to pay Paul, pay Jason. You know. No. Karen Civil should be locked up for cyber crimes and she should be penalized to the fullest extent of the law for the shit that she's doing. And every other person who supports her needs to go too. If you touch a kid and I'm in the car when you touch the kid, I need to go to jail. If I'm in the car driving and you shoot the gun, we all need to go to jail. Everybody need to go. I remember when Karen used to call me and say, if you post Nicki Minaj and something favorable, she's going to like and comment on the page. We tried that out. Okay. Nicki never did that. Why? Because Nicki only care about Nicki. Nicki don't care about shit. You see how she put, uh, let me, I ain't going to go there. 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 You know what I am going to start doing? I'm going to start waking it up. I'm going to start waking it up because nobody else don't want to do it. I challenge y'all to do it. I ch Go to the other platforms right now and see who's writing the story. Go see who's interviewing her. When she do another interview, if the motherfucker don't ask them about all these allegations, they not real. You know why she ain't coming to my show? Because she know the minute she sit in that chair, I'm going to ask her all the questions that she do not want y'all to know. She don't. She don't. Jesse Wu. No, I don't want Jesse Wu on gagging. Jesse Wu, I want to sit down face to face. We don't, I don't even want to do no interview on no internet. I want to sit in your face and do it so we can really get it going. So we can really get into some things. Jesse, call me or just DM me. Stay woke, people. Stop getting used out here. The culture is using you with some of these criminals. I said it.